Accordingly, the Hennepin County Attorney's Office has concluded that criminal charges are not warranted against either Officer Mark Ringenberg or Officer Dustin Schwartz. That is Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman announcing his decision today to not charge two Minneapolis police officers in the fatal shooting of a black man last November. 24-year-old Jamar Clark was shot by police November 15th during what authorities called a struggle. The use of deadly force is justified if the officer reasonably believes that death or great bodily harm to himself or another will likely result if he does not act. In this case, Officer Riggenberg subjectively believed that Clark had or was in the process of obtaining control of his weapon and that were Clark able to remove the weapon from its holster, both Riggenberg and Schwartzy likely would be shot. Riggenberg's subjective belief is also objectively reasonable. First, Clark's DNA was found on Ringenberg's gun, mace container, and his, and his holster. Next, the keepers designed to keep Ringenberg's utility belt in place had become unsnapped. Moreover, when Ringenberg is free of Clark, the video clearly shows that his belt is turned in such a way that his gun is behind his back. As he stands, Ringenberg can be seen adjusting his duty belt back to its normal situation. These facts corroborate Ringenberg's belief that Clark was forcibly pulling on his belt and holding his gun and was objectively reasonable to believe he was attempting to remove it. Now, one of the police officers involved in the incident is white. The other's race has not been released. Following the announcement today, protesters in Minneapolis marched from the site where Clark was shot by police toward downtown. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.